Hey, this is Eric with Archive Garage. We just passed the two year anniversary after the hammer hangers have been introduced for the Toyota Tacoma. And so it's about time I go through and explain a lot of the options that you'll find on the website. Some people do get confused. Um, so don't worry if that's you. Just watch this video and that will help explain and help you understand what you need to put on your truck. So first of all, what is the hammer hanger system? What does it do for your truck? Well, it is a direct replacement for the factory shackle hanger. Um, the factory hanger is very flimsy. If you off-road, you're very likely to bend it and it inhibits the ride quality of your truck so that you can spend thousands of dollars on shocks and leaf springs and still not get rid of that jittery rear ride that you may experience and many people rave about the ride improvement after their hammer hangers um, you will notice a difference I can guarantee that so let's talk about the the hammer hanger the hanger is optimized it is not a stock replacement um, meaning that it is that this pivot hole is in the same spot so Archive Garage, we took our knowledge of the leaf springs and what people were experiencing and uh, also our own experience building other hangers and we use that to make a hanger that improves droop travel. So the three things that you're going to get from just the base hanger kit, um, a noticeable improvement in ride quality, you will experience a, at least a little bit of droop travel improvement even with the stock springs. Now the stock springs are low arch and therefore they don't get a lot of gain in droop travel, but most people replace them anyways, even though they are pretty good. Um, so then the third improvement is going to be a vast improvement in durability for your truck. If you do severe off-roading with the stock hanger, you're very likely to bend it and that could really mess you up when you're on a trip um, hundreds of miles away from home. So, and that has happened to many, many people. So that's where the hanger comes in. The stock hanger is the weak point of the rear suspension. That's the weak link. So. You know, of all the options we have here, the main benefit is going to be the hammer hanger. Um, that's going to get you those the three things, ride improvement, droop improvement, and durability improvement. Okay, so let's talk quickly about the hardware that we supply. Here we have the, these are the frame bolts, okay, it's, they're flange bolts with a lock nut. Other companies are supplying split lock washers, and uh, that's that's pretty old school. So we have lock nuts, and they're also flanged, and we give you stainless steel washers that can help protect the uh, powder coat and also um, help you reach the proper preload torque value, okay? And we have our own bolt kit. And we supply a couple of those with each kit. Um, the next bolt in, uh, that we'll focus on is the shackle bolt. Okay, this is a metric, uh, same diameter as stock, and therefore it will fit in all the bushings and bushing sleeves that are offered out there. Next, a big one that I get a question on is this washer. Okay, this is for the spring companies who don't measure before they sell you something. They're supplying you with bushings that are narrower than stock. And I'm not gonna stand by and have someone bend up my pretty shackles because a spring manufacturer can't make the right bushings, okay? Um, so this is going to install, this is like for all pro springs. They're the, the big offender here, okay? Uh, pretty typical for all pro. Now, if you, this will take up the gap in the uh, 
the bushing length and the sleeve length, okay, so that you don't have to bend in your shackle. Um, so you're only going to need these if your spring manufacturer didn't do it right, okay? Just to put the number out there, this should be 2.875, all right? Same thing with the springs, 2.875 inches. So if you measure your springs and it's 2.75, well, then I would get this. So you get one of these, it's an eighth inch thick, you just put one in and it takes up the difference, okay? So let's talk about the shackle options. So here we have, um, we got our stock. This is a factory OEM with the rubber bushings in there. And the nice thing about these bushings is they are zero maintenance, okay? And they contribute to good handling because they're pretty firm. What they don't excel at is allowing the shackle to rotate like this, okay? And that is going to affect your droop travel depending on your springs and your shocks. So that's where this option comes in, okay? This is a high quality polyurethane uh, with a DOM sleeve, okay? So you can take this, take, remove these bushings. The flange part has to be removed out both sides, okay? Then the bushing can go in. I have had a few people try to put these in with leaving the steel part in and they break this bushing. So, because they're pressing it in or something. Then we move up to the Archive Garage Fabricated Shackles. This one is the 3.6 inch, okay? It's got the A lasered in, all welded construction, quarter inch DOM. Bushings come pre-installed for you, so you just drop them in. And then here is a Zerk fitting for the grease that you can pump in. Try to, rec uh, try to use grease compatible with polyurethane bushings. That would be smart. Um, okay, so this is going to be, this is ideal for spring over axle, which is the stock configuration for the six lug trucks. Okay, so this and this are pretty comparable if you add these bushings in. The problem here is main, you know, just greasing, doing maintenance over the, over the years. This has the grease fitting, so that's kind of the benefit. It all is, comes installed. And then we have our 4.5 inch shackle. Now this one is intended for spring under axle conversions. And I, I say it's required for that because um, some of the other manufacturer shackles aren't going to work with the new longer spring under axle springs from Deaver. Um, so that's where you really should upgrade to the 4.5 inch shackle with a spring under conversion. Some people use it for spring over axle, but it's not recommended. It does kind of work okay with the really short Dakar leaf springs. Um, but any of the longer springs on the market from Deaver, All Pro, Alcan, you're going to inhibit your droop travel because it's longer. And you're basically undoing the benefit of the hammer hangers. So don't do that. Listen to the manufacturer, that's me, and get your 3.6 or stay with the stock, okay? Because then you can get all full droop travel um, until, the, until the shackle, you know, hits horizontal here. So that's the shackle options. Um, let me go back here and talk about the, uh, the hanger itself. Okay, we're gonna talk about the structure. It is made out of quarter inch steel, but not just plain mild steel. This is a high strength, low alloy steel, HSLA for abbreviation. It's the A572 steel, which is a uh, 50,000 PSI grade, okay? That steel is 30% stronger than your mild steel or your A36 structural steel, which is 36,000 PSI. So this is an extremely strong structure, okay? Quarter inch, quarter inch tube here. Uh, the quarter inch bottom tray, it wraps all the way around here, okay? And what you'll see is this is ramped. The forward leading edge, okay, is ramped. That way, if this sets down on a rough surface like a rock, 
this ramped edge is going to help skid forward or the rounded edge on the back if you need to back the truck up is going to help go pretty smoothly okay when you look at the competition or the stock stock hanger there's a straight cut edge here that is like an anchor and that's probably how most people end up bending their frames is because because it doesn't slip over or skid over a rock all right the next thing we're going to do is back the truck up and show you the cross tube option now the cross tube option adds a ride quality improvement and it also protects your frame from bending because it connects the two hangers together it acts like a torsion bar and it helps to have two frame rails deal with the stress of dragging one hanger all right so let's take a look at that okay so i wanted to show a side shot here too okay this is what the hammer hangers look like with the uh stock bedsides okay they do poke out there they're they're about five eighths inch lower than stock which isn't really a big deal um, because it's not as low as the uh, stock spare which I don't have under there right now and there's a peek at the shock relocation but we're gonna take a look at the cross tube okay so here's the camera hangers all right we have the stock shackle right now I am testing an Adelief uh, kit which you can see right there okay that's my new Traveler Adelief, which is on my website. So that's what I'm testing. That's why I have stock springs in there. So you can stop judging me for that. Um, and then here is the, that is a OEM shackle. And it has the, I'm testing the poly bushings as well, because I wanted to make sure it's quality, because I'm selling that. And uh, you can see here, please note, that this bolt is installed with the nut on the outboard side just like stock okay and what that's going to do is give you a better amount of room to the bolt head and the side of the hanger okay so that's what it looks like installed now as we come around here you can see there's the two bolt holes filled up with bolts and that's where the cross tube attaches all right so let's get a look at that from the back here Okay, so you can see that cross tube uh, connects the hangers, and that really helps improve ride quality further than just the hammer hangers alone, because it takes the stress off the frame. The frame won't splay out. Now that OEM uh, cross member up there is not very strong. Okay, so it's good to have there, especially when you have the cross tube, you want to keep it. But putting these two together uh, kind of makes it like a box, a rectangular shape, you know, all the way across when you're looking at it from the back of the truck, okay? And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much everything you need to know about the hammer hangers. If you need to know something further than this, then you can send me an email or give me a call. Uh, happy to answer questions, especially for existing customers, but... Uh, that's what we do here. We offer consultation on suspension, what you need, um, and what you might want to buy to achieve your goals for your truck. So uh, please drop us a line. We're happy to answer questions. Thank you.